Hey everyone, welcome to Influence Studio. In this tutorial, we will explore an incredible tool called AE Juice. AE Juice is a powerful plugin that offers a vast collection of asset bundles including video overlays, liquid transitions, 2D and 3D presets, text animations, whiteboard animations, shape elements, story packs, sound effects, film textures, and much more. AE Juice is compatible with After Effects, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and any other video editor. With this tool, creating professional animation becomes faster, easier, and more fun. By the end of this video, you will learn how to combine AE Juice text presets and other assets to achieve that iconic print look effortlessly. And let me share something amazing with you. This is the perfect time to buy AE Juice because the Happy Holiday sale is on. And you can grab the I want it all bundle with an incredible off. Don't wait, hurry up and make your move. Today I'm gonna show you A Juice tools and my top 4 favorite packs. So without wasting any time, let's jump onto it. Let's begin with installing the A Juice plugin. Go to the aejuice.com. Here you will see the ongoing sale Happy Holidays. You can get the I Want It All bundle lifetime for just $149. So let's install our plugin. Go to the free plugin tab. Here you will see download for Windows button. You can enter your email and click on the get my free plugin. Go to the download window. and extract your installer. Double click on the installer to install it. I have already installed it. Let's begin with importing our logo into After Effects. Keep the import kind as composition and footage dimension as layer size. Create a new composition, name it as AEUs. Keep the width and height as standard 1920x1080 and frame rate as 30. Keep the background color as white. Now open our logo composition. Select the layer and copy it. Paste it into our new composition. Press the star icon to keep on the rasterization and parent the top layer to the layer below it. Change the logo position and now we will mask the speaker to the ink drop. So duplicate the ink drop, put it on the top of the speaker and change the matting to the track mat. Now our logo is masked into the ink drop. Paint the duplicate layer to the original layer. The first tool I am going to review is the AEUs Copy Ease. This tool is very useful when you are working with hundreds of layers and you need to copy one layer using to the other layers. So let's start with animating our logo. Select the layer and press E for position. Click on the stopwatch to put the first keyframe and go 20 frames forward. And go 10 frames forward by pressing shift plus page down. Now put in another keyframe here. Go to the first keyframe by clicking on this arrow. And change the first position. Select the both layer and go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Now go to the graph editor and change the graph of the layer. Let's check our animation by playing it. It's a little bit fast, so we will change the keyframe position to 20 layers. Now check our animation. Perfect. Now I am going to give an animation in the speaker. So put a first keyframe and go to 20 frame forward and put in another keyframe. Now go to the first keyframe and change it position. 
Here I want to copy the ending of the first layer to the second layer. So select the keyframe and click on copy. Now you have to select the second keyframes and click on paste. Go to the graph editor and you can see the graph of the two layers are same. Let's check our animation now. Perfect. You can browse different keyring preset in the AEDU's copies. Also, you can assign different shortcuts for copy easing. Next tool I'm gonna review is A Juice Shifter. With A Juice Shifter, I can shift the layers by just changing this. Another thing is I can align the layers by just going to the exact time frame, selecting the layer, and click on align. Next thing is the stager. We can stage our animation by the different providing presets. I can choose descending, ascending, and random, and so on. Select the keyframe you want to give the staging and select on stager button. You can select if you want a stager in the starting point of the layers or the end point of the layer. Next, I am going to review the AEGIS 2D preset. First, create a new composition and import our logo into the form. Go to the AEGIS pack manager and search for 2D presets. Open the pack. Here, you can select from this lot of animation presets. Select your layer and double click on the animation you want. And you can see that our logo has the same animation. There are a lot of animation presets which you can use to create an attractive animation. Click on this edit button to edit your imported preset. You can change the in scale and out scale. Next, I'm going to show you the 3D preset. Import our logo again. Go to the home and search for 3D. Here you can see a lot of 3D animation preset which you can use to create a 3D animation. You can check the preset by just going over it. I want this animation into our logo. Select the layer and double click on it. Check our animation by playing it. Next, I am going to review my top 4 favorite packs. Create a new project. Go to the Windows tab. Here you will find the AEDU Spec Manager. Click on it. And the AEDU plugin will open. First, we will add a title for our video. Search for the title pack, then click on the creative titles. For the titles, we will select this variable look title. 
Double click on the slide you want to import. The A juice downloader will open. Now we will enter our title. Double click on the composition. Here you can see the text placeholder layer. Double click on the layer. You can edit the text by double click on the layer. Above this title, we're gonna add our liquid transition. Click on the search tab and search for the liquid transitions. It will download the new pack. For the transition, I will select this one. Double click on it to import it. And our transition is imported. It will give you a cut marker where you will put the next footage. So let's import our footage. I will import my footage and put the starting point exactly at the cut marker. I will extend my composition. Now I will add in another transition into it. Go to the plugin home and again search for liquid transitions. I will click on it. Select my next footage. The next footage is small, so I will increase the skin size and I will cut the previous layer at the marker. We need to adjust the starting point of our new footage. Select the layer you want on the top and, and double click on the transition you want. Now go to the end point of the transition and cut the starting point of the footage. You can see our transition is working there. Now I want to add some shape elements in my footage. So I will go to the home and search for some shape elements. Here is the pack I want. Click on it. And search for the element you want in your footage. I found the element I need. Double click on it. Align the starting point of the shape element, reposition it and scale it a little bit. And you can see that we have our shape element in the footage. If you want, you can scale it down and align it perfectly. Next thing, I'm going to add a new footage in our composition. Select the footage, drag and drop, align the starting point and scale it down a little bit. Go to the home and search for the transitions. Click on the seamless transition and select the transition you want. Remember to keep your disk cache clear. Now you can see our new transition is working. Now I want some new shape elements in it. So I will search for the elements and 
click on this liquid element there are many cool looking shape element you can select the one you want I want this element double click on it and align the starting point of the shape element I want it exactly when it jump from the floor Next I am going to add some sound effects in it So go to the home and search for the sound effects Here you will find different sound effect packs Some of them are free to use For this particular tutorial I want the sound effects pro Here you can search the sound effect for or find the appropriate folder for the sound effect i want to hit sound effect when the skateboarder land on the ground so let's search for the hit you can play the sound effect by hovering over it and select the appropriate sound effect i want this sound effect so double click on it you can see our sound effect has imported go to the exact time frame and adjust the starting point of sound effect there before ending this tutorial i'm going to show you some of my other favorite packs one of them is newspaper constructor you can create this cool looking headlines with just some couple of clicks next i want to show you is the text messages Click on the pack to download it. Now you can show the text chat with just some clicks. Here are a lot of template which you can use to create the text effect. Another pack I want to show you is this go places. In this pack, you will find these cool looking backgrounds, and you can generate the background by just some clicks. Next pack I want to show you is this red pack. Here you can see a lot of motion graphics. It will take a lot of time if you create it manually. But with this pack, you can create this graphics with just some clicks. Next pack I want to show you is YouTube pack. Here you will find all the required assets for the YouTube blog. You can preview any pack by just hovering over it. so you can preview any pack before downloading it with this i will end my video here so don't just wait go and check out this cool plugin you can create a hundred of motion graphics and transition with this pack thanks for watching see you in the next video